selfie. Whoop. I can zoom in. This video is a paid partnership with Google. Sometimes you just need a quiet moment to yourself in the morning with a good old cup of coffee. Even better if it's a latte. So this morning, Nate and I woke up early before Erisi woke up, which is an amazing feat. And we just wanted to take a quiet moment to ourselves and just kind of relax, take a breather before the craziness of Christmas begins. So both of our families are gonna be in town and that means it's gonna be go, go, go. So today I'm gonna be sharing three holiday lattes so we can savor the moment. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna make is a classic eggnog latte but with a bit of a twist. I'm gonna make it a matcha eggnog latte. Yep, you heard right. Matcha goes so well with eggnog, surprisingly, with that sweet and grassy, earthy tones. Just pairs so well, and it's super simple. All I'm gonna do is start with one tablespoon of matcha powder, dump that into my glass, and then I have some steaming hot eggnog, and you can decide to add as much or as little depending on how much eggnoggy flavor you'd like. I'm gonna add probably like a quarter cup. I'll give it a quick stir. But actually, you know what? The matcha is a little bit clumpy, so I have a great idea. I used my Aero Latte to create foam in my steamed milk, and I could totally use this for the matcha too to really dissolve it into the eggnog. And then with regular milk, I'm just gonna top the mug off. Look at that. My tool actually made foam within the mug. So awesome, it's nice and green. Oh, super festive too. So finally, I'm just gonna add a dash of cinnamon to really bring out all the flavors. And let's give it a try. Ah, oh, so cozy. Mm. Ooh. It is so good. Wow. If you guys have ever seen my matcha misu video, this is like a matcha misu in a cup. And I didn't add any additional sugar in here because the eggnog was already sweet and it's nice and custardy. It just blends so well with the matcha. If you guys love matcha, I highly recommend this recipe right here. Okay, okay, but I better finish up the other two before Erisi wakes up. Hey Google, set the alarm for 7.45 a.m. I gotta wake up Erisi. Your alarm set for 7.45 a.m. Okay, so for this latte, it's kind of my spin on a gingerbread and a pumpkin spice minus the pumpkin. It's the holiday spice. Actually, I told you guys about this new spice in the last video that I made granola with holiday spice and it was so good. So we're gonna actually make a latte this time. So for this and the next recipe, I'm gonna be pulling an espresso shot, not with a fancy expensive machine, but rather with my Vietnamese coffee filter. This little thing makes the best strong coffee. I love it. So with this, I'm gonna place it right on top of my mug. And then to the filter, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of finely ground coffee. I'll tamp it down, and then I'll fill the filter up with boiling hot water and let it drip for a few minutes. Isn't this thing cool? It's like $7, and I'll link it in the description box below. It's just about done. Give it another minute or so. My Pixel 3 captures the best photo in any light, and I feel like I can never take a bad picture with this phone, self-included. Okay, this looks great. I'm gonna remove this, and then we're gonna add our spices. I'm just using a little bit of cinnamon, cloves, and nutmeg. Now, I'm just eyeballing this, but you don't wanna go more than a quarter teaspoon for each of the spices. I'll add a tiny bit of simple syrup to sweeten it up, give it a quick stir, and then we'll fill up our mug with steamed milk. And this time, I'm gonna add a nice dollop of whipped cream right on top. Give it a quick sprinkle of cinnamon or nutmeg or cloves. It's totally up to you. And here's our holiday spice latte. Oh, so beautiful. Let's give it a try. Mm. 
Mm. It's warm from the spices, the cinnamon, the cloves. I love cloves. That's like my new favorite spice. It's just so warm and cozy and just, I don't know. It just makes you feel good in the morning. All right, let's save this for Nate because I want him to try this and we're gonna make our last one. Okay, our next recipe is, I feel like a holiday classic. I was really inspired by these edible gifts that I saw. They're oranges dipped in chocolate and sprinkled with crystallized ginger. Also kind of like my granola that I made in the last video, but this time I'm turning it into a latte. Okay, so I'm starting with one tablespoon of cocoa powder. I'll add it to my mug. And then with our Vietnamese coffee filter that I've already added the coffee grounds to, I'll tamp it down. And then I'll add my orange peel and pour boiling water right on top. So this method is extracting the natural orange oils and it'll perfume our coffee with a very slight hint of orange. Mmm, I can totally smell the orange peel in here. It smells so good and fresh. Now, if you don't want to use an orange peel, you can totally substitute it with orange blossom water, which can be found at a lot of Middle Eastern grocery stores, but just use a tiny little bit because that stuff is potent. Once our espresso shot is pooled, I'll remove the filter, and then I'll add about one tablespoon of simple syrup to sweeten it up. Mmm, orange chocolate. And then we'll top it off with some steamed milk again. I'll add some foam, and this time, I'm gonna sprinkle it with a tiny hint of ginger to mimic the crystallized ginger of said orange dip chocolate. Look at that layer of foam. Now that's a good looking foam. Are you guys team whipped cream or team foam or team nothing? Comment below, I love foam. It's a very, very citrusy mocha. Mm. The orange peel, like I mentioned before, the aroma is super subtle. It's not overpowering, so I don't feel like I'm biting into um, like an orange rind. The mocha part, the cocoa powder, is just perfectly chocolatey, and then the ginger on top, it kind of hits your nose, so it's nice and spicy. Ooh, I love this. Like I said before, we usually like to take a moment in the morning to ourselves to kind of start off the day. So why don't we head on over to the Christmas tree and kind of relax a little bit and talk about what we like to do in the mornings. Grab my phone. Now, when I take some time for myself, I like to go on my Pixel 3 and catch up on the latest updates before Aerosy wakes up. So that could mean checking my email, going on YouTube to respond to comments. This doesn't happen all the time, but when it does, we like to prove that this moment actually occurred by taking a selfie. Because if you don't have a photo of it, did it really happen? The great thing about the Pixel 3 is I can take a wide angle selfie to capture everything from a large group to the Christmas tree right behind us. No selfie stick needed. Tag and post. Do you guys like our matching PJs? Ersi actually has one too. The great thing about the Pixel 3 is that I can take a group selfie, portrait mode selfie, and AR stickers that really bring some fun animated life to your photos. If you guys are interested in learning more about the Pixel 3, I actually have the XL here. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Thank you so much to Google for sponsoring this video. And if you guys are watching this far, let's give this video the secret emoji, which will be a coffee. And we'll also throw in a Christmas tree. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.